Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have, I have no man. Uh, sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus saith, unto, Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath day. Is it? Is it? Oh, is? It is the Sabbath day. Is, not lawf is it not lawful for thee to carry thy bed? Oh, it is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered them, he that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. Then asked, then asked they him, What man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed wist not who it was. For Jesus had, had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward Jesus findeth him in the temple, and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus which had made him whole. And therefore did the Jews perse and therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. But Jesus answered them, My father worketh hitherto, and I work. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but also, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Then answered Jesus, and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. For the Father loved, loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth, and he will show him greater works than these that ye mar may marvel. For as the Father riseth up, raises up the dead, and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. Verily, verily, I sent to you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death into life. Verily, verily, I sent to you, the hour is coming. And now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and they that hear shall live. For as the Father hath life in him, and for, for as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, and hath given him and hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not, marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice and shall come forth and they and uh, come, they shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation i can of my own self do nothing as i hear i judge and my judgment is just because i seek not my own will but the will of the father which hath sent me if I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesseth of me is true. He sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from men, but these things that I say, that he might be saved. He was a burning and a shining light, And ye were willing for a, re for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have a greater witness than jo that, John, that of John, for the works which the Father hath given me to finish the same works that I do. Bear witness of me, that the Father hath sent me. 
and the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. And ye that have not his word abiding in you, for him, for whom he hath sent ye, him ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them that for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. How can ye believe which receiveth honor one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is, there is one that accuseth you, even Moses, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For ye, for had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye read? How shall ye believe my words? John chapter six. After these things, Jesus went. John chapter 6 will be continued on another tape. There are now two tapes, two videotapes of the New Testament left. That every one of them may take a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon's brother, Simon Peter's brother, saith unto him, there is a lad here which hath five barley, barley loaves and two small fishes, but what are they among so many? And Jesus said, Make the man sit down. Now there was mu now there was much grass in the place, so the man sat so the man sat down, in number about five thousand. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he disputed. He distributed. He distributed to the, to the disciples, and his disciples to them that were. At